Welcome back, Taurus, to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? We have exertion with abundance. So it looks like somebody's about to put a lot of effort into a goal here in regards to the situation. Really wanting uh, to put some effort in, uh, knowing that they can go through it all, actually. They can do whatever it takes to get what they want. We have, I knew exactly what I was doing with you speak to me through music. Oh, that's funny there because I was so drawn. I kept looking at this card and I was drawn to the lady on the exercise machine with her headphones here. And uh, with the music here, some of you might be hearing songs on the radio that the same song comes up or even changing the radio. And then the, the, it's the same song and it's a message uh, from, about your situation or from your person here. So this person's become very aware of the situation. Ten of Cups, the overall energy. Woo! Okay, so we're starting off with a bang. Ten of Cups, this is about emotional fulfillment here. But it's also about completion. Uh, this is uh, the happily ever after card, right? So let's see what um, I keep looking at this lady's face here, uh, she's looking up and the way he's looking to, it's kind of like, can this be attained here? Can this 10 of cups, uh, can I have this with this person? So let's see what you're doing right now in regards to your person. We have Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Fool card. So this week you're a little bit scared and fearful here. It's kind of um, playing with your head, keeping you up at night possibly. Um, whether to take a chance uh, with this person and put effort in here, you're not really sure if you should do that because you feel like uh, as you've done in the past, you've not gotten much out of it here. So about the Nine of Swords moon yeah there's a lot of fears and doubts surrounding this person and the situation of what their true intentions are and you're just not sure if you want to you know really put effort into this it's a little bit risky you're seeing that uh this might be too much of a risk because of how much you've been invested emotionally here in the ten of cups so let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you We have the King of Wands, the Judgment, and the Three of Cups. They're, they're bound and determined to come forward, come talk to you here. They want reconciliation. They want a chance to make things right here. Um, tell me about this King of Wands. Queen of Cups, they realize that they love you, that you are the person that is the one for them. Um, not only are they passionate about you, but... They cannot stop this overflow of emotions that they have for you. So they've been thinking about you as well. Um, and there's, this is more of things with the judgment, King of Wands, uh, Queen of Cups, more of things reminding uh, them, reminding them of you. So this could be things like music and uh, angel numbers, things like that, or possibly seeing your name everywhere. Come with the judgment card. Seven of Cups. This is about like synchronicities. They're getting a lot of like messages from the universe here. They're really uh, uh, kind of blown away and dumbfounded about these messages they're getting. It's starting to, at first it didn't click, but it's starting to like click for them. Like this is not something, it's just coincidence. There's no way here. Tell about the Three of Cups. Seven of Swords. Tell about Seven of Swords world card yeah they want to come forward they kind of want to like 
skate through here with the Seven of Swords world. They want to skate through the, the, you know, the beginning of the line here. They want to get through without having to deal with all of the hectic things that you're possibly feeling uh, about them. But it's not going to work. I mean, they're, they're having problems doing that here with the Judgment card. So their, their intention is to have this new beginning with you and uh, to kind of get you to see that they, they love you. They, they actually truly love you here. So let's see what happened in the past. Taurus. Justice, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. So um, we're dealing with some karmic justice here. This could be a cycle that's gone on for a while with this person. Not really sure. A lot of confusion in the situation of who you are to each other. Why the connection is so strong. Uh, but in the past here, there was a conversation uh, where someone really um, spoke their truth. It was an honest conversation. Um, tell me about this Ace of Swords. But this is Karmic Justice. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. Yeah, you, it's it's coming up in your energy. It couldn't be vice versa. But it looks like you spoke your truth to this person or you made it known here. The wands do come up for communication. But uh, sometimes I find um, just by an action that you do, you're making a, you're making a statement, Okay. About the Five of Swords, that this person, I just heard, took advantage. This person took advantage. So for some of you, you feel like they did. Um, but I'm also seeing that the mind games and this person always wanting to be right in the situation. Uh, it seemed like it was always about them. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Magician, Two of Cups. It felt like that they were always trying to win you instead of actually cherish you here, okay? But this is about knowing that Magician Two of Cups, that you are the one. You are their love. That you are, this is I choose you. I know that there's this as above, so below connection here. It's nothing uh, that is a coincidence. But they did play uh, some mind games. It's like they weren't straight shooters here with you. On where this was really headed there was a lot of confusion uh, tell me about you yeah, there's also a fear here on your side will I be happy with this person I have this strong connection and I love them too uh, but is is it gonna be enough uh, are they always gonna be like this are they always gonna play these mind games or detach emotionally here let's see what the challenge is Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So the challenge is, is that this person didn't really invest in you emotionally, okay? Or they didn't show you that, okay? So what they did was a lot of times they would be come off very cold, very detached, uh, very sharp with their words. That seemed, it just didn't seem very loving or that they had any feelings for you, even though what they were saying sometimes may not have been harsh it just comes off the tone is very harsh here with the king of swords seven of pentacles and it was almost felt like you were being told you know this is how it's gonna go this is how we're gonna do things um not that they would say that but you felt like that with their tone and how they addressed you in text messages or phone conversations tell me this queen of wands Ten of Pentacles, so it's coming up as your energy. Uh, the problem was they viewed you as someone kind of that everyone always uh, wanted. You know, you always got the attention here, and you were you could have been a very um, a builder of your own reality independently. Like you, you set forth on a goal and you achieve it, and you've kind of built your little empire around you, making it. Uh, really hard for this person to swallow that they weren't up to that point uh, where you are in your life. 
Uh, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands. There's also a lot of, uh, could have been distance here, but a lot of waiting, right? Uh, it seemed like when you would invest and you'd get some place like one step ahead, it just kept falling backwards. Uh, things never really came back and to, to that point where you could build uh, it, the relationship even stronger and stronger. It just seemed to stay in the same uh, mundane cycle where it wasn't really going anywhere. Tell this three of wands. Five of wands, yeah. If It seems like you spent a lot of time here uh, just waiting for the return of your investment. You're waiting for their them to come in and, you know, say, okay, is this going to be the time that, you know, we're, we're doing good? Are they going to, you know, are we going to step it up, get to a commitment level? Or are they just going to leave again? And, you know, it's not that this person left so much. It's that, that they let they when they would like have dead air between you two possibly for a couple days three days you just wanted to speak to them every day you wanted to like build this thing up and they were just kind of not in it it seemed like they weren't in it but in reality they love you but they they did some things that kind of pushed you at a distance let's see why let's see why <clears throat> hanged man Four of Wands, King of Pentacles. It's a lot to do with finances with this person. And, and if it's not, it's about them not having the confidence to feel like they're good enough for you. The Queen of Wands in the, in the challenge is that um, not only did they want things to go their way and they would kind of make it a fit about it if they didn't get it their way, but it's also about you being in the public eye or having attention all the time. And they felt like you were always better than them. And it bothered them that even financially here, I'm picking up a lot financially, <clears throat> that they weren't stable. And they were at a, they're at a point in their life very different than yours, uh, monetarily and just stability-wise. I'm also seeing a home, issues with uh, a living environment, okay? That theirs isn't completely stable, so they may not have a place or they may be living with someone, uh, that could be a possibility too. So let's see what action. So they would play this, uh, this game with you a little bit to get you to feel like, uh, you are less than here. We have the three of swords, six of swords, three of pentacles. So I'm picking up, uh, could be a third party. If it's not a house or the money issues, it's the fact that they also have another uh, situation. Could be a family they take care of uh, or they're married here. But not for everyone. Three of Swords, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles. This is moving on from pain and suffering. Uh, easing the conflict, trying to, you know, really make sure that they can come to you and you can understand like this was not their intention. And if I can show you this here, how did it go backwards? <laughs> okay. So this is, I'm sorry. It was like this. This is moving on from this pain here. Right. And they're transitioning to the three of pentacles. So actually working things out. And this is about learning together and addressing the issues, being able to work on the situation. So they're really coming towards you. Um, this hurt them as well. It's like they hurt themselves as well as you uh, with the Three of Swords. Tell this Three of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. It upsets them now that they didn't put enough effort into the situation with you, that they didn't really, you know, invest much in you, and they got they got they felt like they got a lot out of you but they feel like they didn't put anything in and so that really bothers them and they would like to show you that they want to put more effort in you know they want to start by having a conversation with you and and trying to really work through your issues uh with them and see if they can you know make you more comfortable in understanding why they did what they did uh because I 
I believe this is why we have, I know, I knew exactly what I was doing here. Okay. So they wanted this forever with you, but they, they weren't ready to commit at that time. And now it's like the epiphany here, the hanged man. Um, they re realize what they have to sacrifice. So they could have another home situation or finances that they need to get in order. Okay. In order to, for this to move forward, but they want to let you know this in the three of pentacles. Okay. So we're going to see where this is headed in the extended reading. We're going to go over the future action this person's going to take as well as the outcome. So if this is resonating with you, you're more than welcome to join me. If not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Okay.